Now, we have one more Google Plus announcement today, and it goes back to really why we started the project in the first place, to really bring real life sharing to software. Think about the time that you spend with the people that you love, your family, your best friends. Think about where you spend that time with them. It's likely at a barbecue, a, a restaurant, a, a picnic, a wedding. The common theme here is that these are all events. Events have a wonderful way to bring people together. They allow you to create and share cherished moments. Yet, unfortunately, the substance of a real-world event is lost online. Just consider the state of today's online tools. Online event tools basically are glorified web forms that ask you, are you going, yes or no? They kind of help you manage who you're inviting to the party. But what happens when the party starts? Or what about after the party? Today's online tools bail when you need them the most. In life, we plan, we party, we keep in touch. We think software should make all of that more awesome before, during, and after your event. That's why today we're so excited to be announcing Google Plus events. <clears throat> now, for the next few moments, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Plus events before, during, and after your next party. Let's start off with before. Now, perhaps the most important thing we do uh, is invite someone. You know, when you invite someone to your home uh, or to a wedding or even to your favorite restaurant, that's a deeply intimate act. You know, you're handpicking who's going to be in the room. So we think that who you're inviting should feel special too. And so that's why we designed the product to offer lots of ways to send absolutely beautiful invitations in something we call cinemagraphic themes. I'll show you that in a moment. We also understand that you need to manage the entire process. And we've built in great management tools, including deep integration with Google Calendar. Let's just show you. Matt here is going to invite some friends to a brunch. I'll wait till we switch to demo. OK, so Matt's going to use the product. He's going to click on the calendar button there in the share box. And he's going to now start inviting people to a brunch in Half Moon Bay. It's a city about 30 miles from here. It happens to be his hometown. And uh, he'll fill in some basic information. Now he'll choose a theme. Now here's where it gets really amazing. We have over two, uh, over two dozen of these cinemagraphs, beautifully animated themes. You can see here, uh, you may not be able to see the subtle animation in the audience, but some of these are just amazing. Lights flicker. You can see the barbecue. That's one of my favorites. And we've really professionally built some amazing ways to make your guests feel special. Now, since this is a beach party, a beach brunch, why don't you pick a beach theme? And he'll go ahead and set that. Now, finally, Matt will add guests, whether or not they're on Google+. He just adds their emails, and then he sends the invitation. Now, let's see what it's like to receive the invitation. In this case, we're going to switch. We're going to pretend to be Lindsay, one of Matt's imaginary friends. Yes, he has lots of imaginary friends still. Okay. Now, from Lindsay's viewpoint, she gets this beautiful event post in the stream. And when she hovers over that, it unfolds, just like you might with an invitation you received in the mail. Lindsay can check her schedule right from the post with calendar integration. And she can see that she's free, and so she'll say yes, that she's going. Now, if you jump over to Lindsay's calendar, a brand new feature in Google Calendar, first, the social uh, event has been added. Matt's photo is in the corner, and she, if she clicks on that, she gets that beautiful cinemagraph integrated right in. Isn't that awesome? She, she can even see the beautiful faces of, the, of her friends who are going. All of these small details, we think, help set the mood for your event, the right mood right from the start. Now, finally, we uh, can click through into the uh, event page detail, and there, once again, uh, Lindsay can pull down on the invite, get that beautiful experience. She can see updates from the host. She can see photos. She can see who else is going. OK, let's go back to slides. So we think that the combination of cinemagraphs, calendar integration, those other things that we showed you really make it a, both a beautiful and a useful way for you to manage your party. But that's just before the event. Now let's talk about during the event. 
Now, it's no surprise that during the event, photos are a big deal. Just taking a photo causes people to smile and laugh. They help us relive the event when it's over. But you know what the problem is. Today, with the proliferation of devices and smartphones, everyone's photos get lost. They're with all the guests, and they never, ever come back together. So no one can enjoy them in one spot. With Google Plus Events, we have a groundbreaking feature, my favorite feature of the product, and it's called Party Mode, and it fixes those problems. Once you've enabled Party Mode on your device, all new photos automatically get added to the event in real time. As more and more guests turn on Party Mode, all those photos instantly appear. In this way, Google Plus Events gives your party a visual pulse. We've even added a live slideshow that you can show during the event to make it fun. Let's show you. Let's go back to demo. Matt's obviously in the mood. His brunch has already started. Now, because it's already started, Android knows that, he's, that this is the correct time, and it sends him this notification. Now, at Matt's discretion, he can choose with one click to take that first photo and turn on party mode. Go ahead, Matt. Take the picture. All right, very good. Now, if you note at the top, the green icon stays there, so you always know when party mode is on. And as guests turn this on, they can uh, uh, control the settings right there in notifications. Let's go back to the events landing page. Now, on the events landing page, you get to see all the photos stream in. People who are at the event who are taking pictures, they will just show up right here. I guess you can see the brunch is going on over there, and they just stream in real time. And that's a lot of fun to kind of just watch as it happens. Now, in addition to having this view, we've built in a slideshow view. So Matt, if you go to the top there, it says play the live slideshow. And if you click during the event, we'll go to an absolutely gorgeous full screen light box and your guest photos will appear instantly after they've taken those pictures. Isn't that just great? Okay, we've talked about before, during, and after. Let's switch back to slides and let's talk about after the event. Okay, after the event, what happens when the guests go home? Well, we reminisce about the event, we might think of something that was very special, and we try to hold on to those memories. Because getting everyone's photos and videos, we've given up on that. Well, not anymore. As you saw with party mode, and Google Plus will send emails to all your guests, and ask them to upload photos they may have taken from other, like DSLRs, and then we'll do something amazing. We'll put all of them in one place in chronological order. Let me show you. Let's show what the uh, events page looks like. Now, one of our teammates, Dave, recently got married, and like any good engineer, he decided to test events at his own wedding. And what you're looking at is really his wedding. So thank you, Dave, for doing this. Um, at the top, you see, uh, actually, let's, let's skip the top there for a second, and let's look at this. Uh, what you're seeing here, Matt, if you just scroll down, is literally all the photos from all the guests who had party mode turned on. And if Matt uh, moves over any one of those photos, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see the pictures of the guests who contributed that photograph. We automatically put them in chronological order, so from the ceremony to the reception, you can see the event from different perspectives. It's the first time you've been able to go do this in a beautiful way. Now, if you go all the way to the top of uh, the stream there, we do also do something else that's pretty cool. We analyze all the photos, and we look at the photos that got the most engagement, either comments or plus one. And there, at the events highlights at the top, we give you the most popular photo. So, Matt, if you click on that top one, you can see that was the photo that got the most engagement from his wedding, the most uh, engagement from his guests. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, in addition, if there was a photo of you, and you were tagged in a photo, your photos would be there right at the top. Now, what if you have a friend, and you just want to see photos that they took? Well, you can see the different photographers who had party mode turned on and who contributed. In this case, Matt clicked on Denise, and now he's seeing all of the photos coming just from Denise. You know, when you consider what Google Plus events does for before, during, and after uh, an event, it really speaks to what we're trying to do with Google hey, overall. Sergey.